Er ist erst 22 und in einer Woche kommt sein dritte Album fängt aus, der Jake Buck. Welcome, Jake. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. You just flew in from London, but before that you were in New York. How was it there? What did you do? Um, we were playing a TV show and um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like New York a lot. And um, it was cool to be over there and playing some shows, but uh, back over here now. Right. Do you like the environment of a big city or do you prefer nature to like get inspired and writing songs? It depends. Um, New York is a big city. It's a very busy city, but it's uh, there's a lot to do. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But also, if you want that peace and quiet, that's also nice to, to relax as with as well. So A lot of distraction in a big city. What's your, like, your favorite distraction from being creative or working? Uh, yeah, going out and having a good time, <laughs> like, like most people, I think. Sure, sure. Also der Jake Buck ist jetzt gerade aus New York zurückgekommen, wo er in einer TV-Show gespielt hat und er hat eigentlich gerne große Städte. Es gibt viele Sachen, die man dort machen kann, aber es ist wirklich schwierig, um dann kreativ zu sein, weil es natürlich viele Sachen gibt, die dich ablenken. Now you have a new album, it's called On My Own, or On My One, as you would say in your Nottingham uh, dialect. What is the title about? Uh, well, the making of this album was, um, I, spent, I like spent a lot of time by myself in the studio um experimenting and it was like a chance to reflect on um the last uh few years or so and uh to kind of go within myself a little bit so i thought it was a relevant title at the time so. so what did you find in this time when you spent time with yourself what did you find in, in your uh, mind in your well i just uh everything that i felt i put it out on the, on the, on my album uh, I can be somebody that finds it hard to talk about how I feel and uh, I can easily bury, bury my feelings deep down. So uh, making this album was a way to express that in a way I felt comfortable with. Also der Jake Buck, sein neues Album ist On My Own und es kommt aus in einer Woche. Und er hat gesagt, dass er in dieser Zeit, also um das Album aufzunehmen, wirklich viel Zeit mit sich selber verbracht hat, auch das Album eigentlich selber geschrieben und produziert hat. Um, und ja, Sachen gefunden hat für sich selber, wo er dann auf das Album drauf hat, in Musik verwandelt hat. Die Album starts with a really, I would say, sad songs. If I can quote you with the lyrics, it's I'm just a poor boy from Nottingham. I had my dreams, but in this world they're gone. I'm so lonesome on my own. Is this how Jake Buck feels like most of the day? Uh, no, it was um, it's like a it's like a double entendre. It has two meanings. Uh, I'd wrote that um, song from the perspective that if tomorrow all this was to end, then um, maybe that's the kind of song I would be singing. Of mm. course, um, all my dreams have come true, and I'm not a poor boy. So it's um, <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it has a it has another meaning towards mm. that. Mm. You're also asking. I think it's in the chorus of the same song. You're asking, "Where is God?" How can you explain this question? How, how do you come up with that? Uh, well, I'm not a religious person. Um, You're not religious? No, I'm agnostic. So um, I have to see it to believe it. Um, I believe, um, well, anything could be possible. But if there was a God, uh, there's been no evidence to show that. So that's why I asked the question in the song. But it's, uh, if you don't believe that you could see God, it's quite difficult to ask, like, where is God? I don't know if it's like... Well, God is just a word that we use for... Um, You know, just to explain um, something that is beyond, um, you know, beyond something that we can comprehend, whether that's an entity in the universe or whether it is uh, a man in the beard, like some people depict. Um, but um, you know, it could be, it could be, God's just a word for describing something uh, beyond us. Das Album von Jake Buck fängt mit dem Song "On My Own" an und das hat eine recht traurige introvertierte, melancholische Lyrics, aber er sagt, das ist eigentlich eine Perspektive von Rick hat, wenn die Welt ihm wie morgen enden und er alleine wäre, das wäre quasi der letzte Song, den er äh, würde, würde singen und er, er fragt dann auch, where is God, also wo ist Gott? Und er sagt, aber dass er Agnostiker ist, also nicht eigentlich religiös. Now, if God wasn't really an influence on your album, I think you said that Hip-Hop was an influence on the new album, or that you're Growing up with hip hop was uh, something that we can hear now in the new album. Um, yeah, I, I like all kinds of music. Um, it all depends on whether the song's good for me. Um, and um, and there's it'd be hard to find the hip hop elements in the album. But I would start with maybe like a hip hop beat and write something over the top of it, which may be in more of the vein of I don't know, say like uh, rock or country music or mm -hmm. something. But to start. 
um, with the roots um, of the beat, maybe if that was in the hip hop vein, it was just something to, uh, to experiment with and mess around and, and uh, try things out. I mean, you would do you keep the beat or you take the beat away and just leave the vocals and chords? Sometimes you take the beat away and then sometimes you keep it in or you might just keep it underneath the, uh, another beat that you've added uh, later on. So do you also take influence from hip-hop artists, hip-hop acts? So do you think, oh wow, they're doing something that I want to achieve in my field? Um, I, I try and take influence from as many different um, artists and genres as possible. Even if I don't like it, I'll take away something that I, I know not to do. Um, Whereas um, it could it could be anything. It could be um, sometimes you can listen to a song and it can give you 20 different ideas for a song of your own, and um, and it's just about sparking that inspiration. And whether that's hip hop, heavy metal, or classical music, uh, it doesn't matter to me so much. Is there any style of music music where you could say I could never get inspired by this kind of music? Um, probably uh, the top 40 today. The top 40 today, well, <laughs> we all know that you don't really like the charts, you said it many times, so it didn't really change in your opinion. No, no, I don't think so, no. Um, I, I, ju I hope something will come along in the charts that I do enjoy listening to, I, I really do. Als äh, Jake Buck für ihn ist auch Hip-Hop ein, äh, ein Einfluss gewesen, auch wenn man das vielleicht gar nicht so offensichtlich gehört. Um, und er kann aber von überall Inspirationen äh, außer von der Top 40, von den Charts, also von den Spitzenchartreiter. Äh, das ist für ihn nicht unbedingt be, um, inspirierende Musik. Now in the Top 40 of the Charts we see a lot of uh, DJs nowadays and especially collaborations between, let's say, songwriters or bands and DJs. Was it never something that you even thought about for a second, collaborating with a big DJ name? Just to push it further your your status um i mean i've i've co i've collaborated with uh with songwriters in in the past um but uh, big name dj's or big name artists um it's not something uh i go looking for it's um but if so if somebody approached me and and asked if i would do like a guest vocal or some guitar or something mm -hmm. and uh, i like the track then I, i i'd be i'd be happy to give it a go i'm always open for trying new things that's what music's about um, so it, it it all depends on on the song really. Well, nowadays it's really famous to have a, like a deep house song and some guitar and vocals. Or is that something that you would like to do? Yeah, so, um, it's always it's always worth trying new things. I think. Um, but now you can just you can do most of it at home. You can just buy the sounds and buy a little keyboard and you're away and. Uh, and I think that's that's probably the reason why there is a lot of uh, music like that in the charts because it's so easy and and accessible as well. To produce on your own, you produce your album on your own, most of parts on your own in the studio. Um, why did you decide not to do it with a producer in a studio with a whole team of people? Uh, well, it wasn't it wasn't my intention. I was just I was recording as I was writing. I had no, I never thought I would ever get into producing at, at all. So I was just uh, recording as I was writing, and uh, the recordings uh, went to the label, and they liked them, and they said they were cool. So um, they just let me carry on with that, and uh, and so it was cool. I got to learn something new in the process as well, and uh, and it was a bit of a challenge. This record, um, trying to write all the songs, and and uh, trying to make them the the best I possibly could. Um, but I feel if it was would have been easy making this album, I wouldn't have learned anything in the process. Mm -hmm. Zum das äh, zusammenfassen, ähm, der Jack Buck hat dieses Album selber produziert, ähm, hat gefunden, das muss er machen für sich selber, zum daran wachsen. Ähm, er ist aber auch nicht abgeneigt, mal eine grosse Kollaboration zu machen mit einem DJ oder mit, äh, mit anderen ähm, grossen Acts, aber er ist nicht etwas, was er aktiv danach sucht. Ähm, now you you mentioned that you didn't don't really like the top forty of the charts. Obviously, I think you hope that you will enter the top forty of the charts. Um, do you read about? Do you read the reviews of your new album when it comes out and maybe it hits top ten, top one? Do you read about that stuff? Do you, are you interested in that? Um, no, no, I don't. I don't read it because at the end of the day is one person's opinion as, as influential as they may be with that opinion it's still one opinion um and at the same time i am i'm expecting mixed reviews with this album i think no matter what album i would have made what the songs would have been it would have been different to my other two albums so i'm prepared for mixed reviews and i don't expect everybody to like it of course not 
Um, so um, I, there's just no point of reading them for me. Also Jake Buck liest eigentlich seine, in, seine Reviews von seinem neuen Album nicht, weil er gewusst, egal welches Album das er macht, äh, die Reviews werden eh ganz unterschiedlich sein und darum äh, liest er das eigentlich gar nicht. Now the, the artwork of, uh, of the album is really colorful. We can see it here. What's the idea behind the artwork? Um, well, I, I, uh, I hired a guy uh, to like find some designs and different artists and stuff like that. I knew I wanted some artwork. I was tired of seeing my own face on the records each time. And <laughs> of course, the label always want your face to be on it so everybody knows what you look like and all that stuff. But I wanted some artwork. Um, so I got a guy in, he showed me some different designs. And that was just the one that stood out for me, to be honest. And, uh, and I went and met the, uh, went and met the artist and um, he was really cool. And I like it because um, I felt like with this album, there was uh, many elements mixed together um, in terms of genre. And, uh, and I always try and make every song different from the next. And so I wanted some artwork that was going to reflect that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt that the, this, this particular piece did that job. You said that uh, labels and management and these kind of people, they want your face on the, on the record because they want to sell a face and maybe not the music, which one could understand. But doesn't it sometimes feel like a pain to be in this whole music industry for you? It, it just sounds a bit like this for me. Well, yeah, of course, um, because it's not so much about music anymore, is it? It's, more, it's, about, it's about the artist, people buying to the artist, um, you know, people like... Uh, Rihanna and Drake, they they could release a song tomorrow. It doesn't have to be good, but it'll still people will still buy it without even hearing it. And that's just the way it is. It's, uh, people are buying into the artist and not the music, and uh, that's just that's just how it is. And it's uh, it's a bit of a shame, but what else can you do? It's more about celebrities and fame than about music. Yeah, fashion at the front, music in the back. So Jake Buck's gonna change that? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. Maybe it's an attempt. Now, um, last question. Do you want to do this forever? Um, yeah, of course I want to play music forever. What I don't want to do is I don't want to go in a repetitive cycle of uh, making an album, promoting the album, touring the album. Um, that would be something that would uh, feel uh, exhausting over over a long period of time, I think. So uh, maybe uh, I'll find something else to do, um, you know, to keep, keep me... Uh, you know, keep me satisfied. Uh, what that is, I'm not sure yet. But, um, but yeah, of course, I'll always want to be in music forever. The Jake has sich beklagt darüber, dass äh, in der heutigen Musikindustrie es viel mehr darum geht, um Fame, um Celebrities. Äh, und eigentlich, äh, Leute wie Drake oder Rihanna können irgendeinen Song rauslassen und die Leute würden es kaufen. Es geht nicht so fest um Musik. Ich habe ihn gefragt, ob er das wird ändern wird. Er hat gesagt, nein, wir werden es sehen. Er hat auch gesagt, dass er für immer wird Musik machen wird. Aber nicht unbedingt in dem, in dem äh, Zirkel von neues Album, Promotour, neues Album, Promotour. Well, Jake, thank you very much and good luck with the new album. Thank you very much. Thanks.